Morning everybody, I'm going to do a really really quick little tutorial just of basic everyday makeup using the amazing um, Flawless by Sonia Range. So to start off with I have my BB cream, now this one's in Sandy, it's also available in Nude or Cocoa for darker skin tones. So I just squirt a bit out and a lot of the time I don't have time to put makeup on, especially when I've got to get ready to go to school on, so I will literally grab a bit just to make me not look like I've been up since six o'clock with the kids in the morning. So uh, my problem area is I would say a kind of this area. I think, you know, if you've got an even skin tone across that section, it really, really wakes your face up. So if I'm in a rush, I will literally just put a tiny bit across there, really evens out your tone. The next I'm going to thing I'm going to use is my mineral powder. Now, let me just get a little bit comes in a little pot like this, uh, I'm going to twist that round. Now I'm using amber, it's quite a dark colour, so because I've got quite a dark skin tone and also it's been summer, I've got a bit of a tan. Now as it gets to winter, I'll probably be getting a natural colour, just because I don't want to look like I've got too much of a tan in winter, not very natural is it? So, tiny little bit on the end of my brush, these aren't my Sonia brushes as well, they are beautiful quality. So I kind of start doing a little bit down my nose, a little bit over the cheeks, again, I get a little bit in the lid, twirl it round, then dab your brush in like that, just so it's get the mineral powder goes into your brush, so it gets a nice even colour. And that, again, it's so so quick, quick flip round there, down there, because I always get tan line across my nose, so I live in my sunglasses. So I like to make sure I've got some there. Over the eyes, I've noticed as well. If you put a little bit of mineral powder over your eyes, and it covers your um, eyelashes. It really helps your mascara stay on really well. Another thing to stop you looking like you've got a white neck and a brown face, again, get a little bit in there, dab it, just brush it on there. It just keeps it a bit more natural looking, gets a little bit of colour on your neck without it looking too much. So really spread it around. You don't want a thick layer, this is really, really light. So it's lovely day colourage. Um, <clears throat> I've got my baked bronzing um, powder as well. That's really nice, I love this, it lasts so long. So I can use the same brush, but what you can do is just pinch those bristles so you can get a bit of a stronger colour on there. Just a little bit over your cheeks. Now I like to finish that off with a bit of lipstick. This one is called Almond. So if we go close there so you can see, can you read that? I don't know if, that's, if you can or not. But I love this. Natural colour, so really quick. Because it's a natural colour, you don't need to be dead precise with it as well. You can literally like put a bit on, ready to hit the day, out for score run. Now, if you've not got time to mess about with mascara, I don't always have time to sit doing that. There's a really nice aloe inspired um, eye pencil there. So, a little bit, just because I do like to have a little bit of definition around my eyes. So... That's really nice, quick, ready to go out for the day. And I don't look like I've been awake all night, which is good. Okay, have a fab day and I'll see you all soon.